Hey, what's up, YouTube, Facebook? Mike Lovelace with Lovey's Fat Life, and today we take the Rec Tech and we create a burger that was actually inspired by Tony Barnett with Lolita Loca. He said he came out and said that, hey, I'd love to try a cheeseburger with burnt ends on top of it. We do a little our version on this. Uh, we didn't have a brisket, but we did have some chuck roast, so we do a smoked burger on the Rec Tech RT700. And then we do some poor man burnt ends with some chuck roast on top with some barbecue and some sauteed onions with garlic, butter, and man, this thing turned out awesome. Uh, please hit that like and subscribe if you like what we're doing, but we're getting ready to show you how we created this awesome cheeseburger, and it's going to be called the LLL Burger, or in other words, known as the Tony Barnett Burger, but try this one out at home. You'll love it. Thank you. All right, this is seven pounds of Angus Chuck Roast that was on sale today at um, Sam's Club. Still expensive, five dollars a pound right now with meat prices. So we're going to cut this up into one-inch chunks, and then we're going to smoke them, make some burnt ends that we're going to put on a burger later on. So we're going to do some poor man burnt ends, what they call them, but they're really not poor, expensive as meat is right now. So let's do this thing. All right, we're going to smoke seven pounds of Chuck Roast. Here I'm cutting out the fat, cutting it into cubes, and then we're going to stick this thing on the smoker. Um, again, this is way overkill for what we needed, but we're going to eat some of these later on as on sandwiches or just as a snack. All right, so remember, we didn't have a brisket on, but we had some chuck roast. We did a poor man burnt ends chuck roast to put on this cheeseburger. Uh, we sprayed this with some olive oil first, and then we came back with... Um, um, Killer Hogs Hot Rub. Love this rub. If you never tried it, definitely try it out. And then we came back with another layer of the Texas Brisket Rub by Killer Hogs. Uh, love that as well if you've never tried that. Uh, then we take our hands and get them all in here really good and mix this up. You know, get the olive oil bonded on all sides of this. And then we come back with even another layer of the Killer Hogs Hot Rub really love what this rub combination uh the taste profile of it but also love the mahogany look whenever smoking this uh just just really cannot tell you how much i'm impressed with this rub again use whatever rub you want we use the the killer hogs that we had in our house uh and then here we turn around and take uh we spray down the racks with that same olive oil spray and then we turn around and place these all over the uh, cookie sheet or like a baking sheet and then we'll put this on our Rectech RT700 and um, and let these things bathe in some applewood pellet smoke uh, for about five hours but we'll, we'll take you along with us here all right we got these chuck roasts cut up into they're probably two inches by one inches uh, you can go one by one something smaller this is what we got today uh, we're going to put these on here and let them bathe in smoke for about three hours, see how they look, and then add them a little barbecue sauce and put them back on. All right, let's side uh, these on here. There we go. We're going to let them bathe in that applewood smoke and that hickory. They look pretty. We got the Malcolm uh, Reeds seasoning, the hot seasoning, and then we got their brisket seasoning as a second layer on them. So let's let these things smoke at 250 for about two and a half, three hours, and then we'll see what they look like. All right, these have been on about an hour and 20 minutes, and I'm gonna lift this thing up and let's take a look at them. Normally, I don't like doing this, but I had a stopping and mowing the yard, and I wanted to see what they how they were looking. And if you're looking, you ain't cooking right, so I'm not cooking right now. But let's look see what these things look like. The rec tip bull, grab the bull by the horns right here to open it up. Bam! Look at those bad boys. Look at that color. Woo-wee! Looking good in the neighborhood. Hour and a half into this. We still got three and a half.
and a half hours, another hour and a half this way. They smell great at Apple Woods, give them a little bathing smoke. Yes, sir. Gonna be some good eating later on. All right, so these have been on for a tad over three hours. And they've been baking in this apple smoke with a little bit of hickory chunks I put on earlier. And let's see what they look like. Woo, yes, they're definitely darker now. But yeah, they still look beautiful. So we're gonna take these bad boys, take them inside, mix up some beef broth and some barbecue sauce, put them back in the pan, put them back on for a few more hours. Looking good in the neighborhood. All right, so we're gonna put just our classic Sweet Baby Ray, whatever favorite barbecue, barbecue sauce you like. We're gonna put a cup of this That's a cup, maybe just a tad over a cup. And beef broth, cup of beef, beef broth. All right, so we've got a fork out. We're gonna mix this up really, really good, that beef broth in with that Sweet Baby Ray's, whatever barbecue sauce you wanna use. And then we're gonna pour this all over these, these chuck roast burnt ends. Um, and then we go back and I add a half of a beer, whatever your favorite beer is as well, in with this. And then we just mix this all up really good. And then we're gonna go out here and put this thing back on the smoker. Uh, with that liquid and that fluid in there so that it can steam it and break it down even a little bit more. All right, so now we got some 80-20 uh, burger here, some hamburger meat. We put a little bit of SPG in here, salt, pepper, garlic powder, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, and then we take around and mix it all up real good and then we patted these things out. And uh, this two pounds made about five burgers. You can do the math on that. All right, so now we're at the point we add a shelf into this RT700. We got our 12 inch Lodge cast iron uh, skillet and we add some garlic butter in here. Love this garlic butter. We can get it at Sam's Club. And then we're gonna add our uh, Vidalia onions in here. We're going to saute these things. So uh, they they take a little longer. We did bump the temperature up to 325 at this point. We still got the burnt ends underneath the shelf. Uh, and then we got this cast iron on top sauteing these Vidalia onions. And then we're getting ready to add these cheeseburgers on. But it did take these onions a little while to saute. Probably about 30, 40 minutes at 325. All right, at this point, these burgers, they're, they're ready. Uh, we're just checking things out right here, but then we probe them and we see they're at the right temp. Uh, again, these onions been in this garlic butter bathing with that apple smoke for a little while. Uh, we check the internal temp and they're ready to go. Uh, medium for my wife and I and, and well done for our son. So then we go back and we add the pepper jack cheese on some of them and the Swiss cheese on the others. And we're getting ready to take these bad boys off and build this uh, burnt-in cheeseburger, the LLL burger or the Tony Barnett burger, right here in a second. 
All right, let's go ahead and build this burger. We're going to put some mayonnaise, a thin layer of mayonnaise on the top and on the bottom. And then we're going to get on my wife's here. We got the uh, Swiss, if I'm not mistaken. Um, no, I told you wrong. Uh, it's the pepper jack. So we got the pepper jack cheese on this next. Again, hers was cooked to, to about 140 to 145. Then we put the sauteed garlic onions on top of that. And then uh, now here, the, the best part of it, I thought my opinion, I don't know, those burgers were pretty darn good, but we put the, um, the chuck roast burnt ends that had the uh, Sweet Baby Ray barbecue sauce on them on top of that. Now we're getting ready to bite into them. All right, what do you guys think? Um, you know, I'm not a big onion person, but I love sauteed onions. I love them sauteed here in this garlic butter. Uh, the burnt ends on the top, my wife's not a you know huge fan of a ton of barbecue sauce on it, so that's why we didn't like... Um, you know, poured barbecue sauce on top of this that was in the pan as well. But um, we're getting ready to cut these up, this burger up. And um, in my opinion, it, it, man, it's just a beautiful burger. Um, and the taste was really good. We're getting ready to bite into it as well. But look here as we open this thing up, you can see the chuck roast burnt ends with the smoke ring, uh, the medium burger, those onions, and that pepper jack cheese with a little bit of mayo on the top and the bottom. Man, I'm getting hungry again looking at this thing, but uh, to me it was a beautiful burger. First time I'd ever done this before, so uh, I thought it was a great idea from Tony from Barnett from Lolita Loca to give it a shot, and uh, I was very happy with the way it turned out. All right, now we're going to try out this sandwich. It's got the uh, chuck roast burnt ends, sauteed onions, hamburger with salt, pepper, garlic, Worcestershire sauce. And this one's with, I believe, pepper jack cheese. So let's try this. You see the smoke ring on the burger and then the burnt ends. This is pretty tasty. Maybe just a little bit more barbecue sauce on it. You could add on top of it, but definitely something different. If you like burnt ends or chuck roast burnt ends and cheeseburger, this was 80-20 cheeseburger. Definitely worth giving it a try. Thank you guys, like and subscribe. Hey, thank you guys for checking out this video. Uh, hey, try this one out on your Rectech RT700 or whatever kind of smoker you have or grill you have. This is the Chuck Roast Burnt In Cheeseburger, and we use pepper jack cheese on it. And uh, we call it the LLL Burger or the Tony Barnett Burger. Uh, this is because this is a vlogger and creator that we like and enjoy watching, and they gave us this suggestion. So we're going to name this one after him. But go ahead and try this thing out. Um, this thing probably would have been a little bit better, actually maybe even a lot better, if you used... Uh, burnt ends from a brisket again we had used chuck roast here because that was what was available um, the price of meat right now is just sky high and i wasn't going to cook a whole brisket but uh, try this one out still really good use your own favorite barbecue sauce tell us what you like what what kind of cheeseburger do you like what's a little different when everybody else has tried before but again this one was the burnt end cheeseburger with the sauteed garlic onions on it turned out excellent so give this one a try thank you guys for watching this video please like and subscribe to our channel if you like what we're doing love his fat life the f is for food for uh grilling meat smoking meat grilling meat doing restaurant reviews and the t is for travel we love to go on cruises and we love land-based vacations as well thank you guys and have a great day